Here we have this year's King of Kings entry for Sycamore Harley Davidson, um, which is called El Ganador. This year with the King of Kings competition, we were given a criteria of using a Sportster as the model with an unlimited budget and no categories to work to or criteria. We decided to go for a club style Sportster with a nod to the original FXR club style bike and worked along the lines of using performance and style in the build. A lot of the budget this year went into the performance element of the bike. We started off with a 1200 Roadster as the base model and added on to that as many different elements we could find to make a visual impact as well as a performance impact. Starting with the back end of the bike, we wanted to tidy it up and give it a real nice slimline look. Um, adding a laydown license plate with smoked rear light on there. We decided to use a set of Kellerman bar end indicators as the rear indicators as they kept a nice trim profile. Um, we did a little bit of modification to the rear fender rails by smoothing them out just to take your eye away from the rustic look they originally had. Um, on the back also you see a set of Olin's piggyback shocks. Uh, we wanted to use them to give the nice performance look and also ride comfort. Um, working our way forward you'll see the chain sprocket conversion which is more of a cosmetic touch than any sort of performance. Coming to the middle section, um, start off with you'll notice the Bassini Road Rage 2 to 1 system. We went with that purely for a performance style, 2 to 1 is the best to go for. Um, when we actually fitted the system we didn't tune the bike to start off with so the exhaust got a nice gold colour from the heat that was coming from the engine. Adding on to the trim on the engine we've used some Harley um, CNC cut billet heads along with a K&M air filter and an s, &S trim cover. To match that we've gone for an RSD belt sprocket cover which we had to modify slightly to work with the chain conversion. Um, we've also added on to there a Sportster King tank so it keeps the original look of the tank but it kind of gives it more of a steroid bumped look um, which allows you to get a bit more fuel in there. Um, adding on to that we've got the Lepera kick flip seat which gives a nice comfy ride and lots of support plus it's also all the raging seat in a minute. So with the front end we added on the built well uh, fairing, the T-Sport fairing. Um, nice small little fairing that works well with the sports because of the slim line on the bike itself. Um, we've got a set of method risers and LSL bars. We wanted to get a bit of gold throughout the bike so you'll see that in the paintwork along with the handlebars, the rear suspension and the chain. Just a nice little touch to carry through. Uh, running alongside there we've got some Heinz front indicators, built well grips and RSD levers. With the front section of the bike you'll see we've used a 1200 custom front fender and also a Sport Glide front fender to get the trim look that we wanted. The original Roadster front fender was a very short stubby look which didn't work with what we were trying to achieve. Uh, onto the brakes, the Roadster itself stand comes with upside down front forks. So alongside that we added a set of Galfa wavy discs which just gives you more of a performance style and look. Um, added onto that you've got a set of axle covers and bolt covers just to clean the whole front end down. A few finishing little touches on the bike, um, we decided to go for the BMX Moto style pegs which give you good performance and grip when you're riding. Um, you won't see it in this video at the minute but we've got a side mounted custom speedo mount, coil relocation. One of the main differences we made on the bike, which was probably the most modification when it came to fabrication work, was the side panel. So the original sports and side panels are a lot shorter and more oval in shape. We wanted to extend them to get the FXR styling that the original bike would have come with, uh, which was a lot more of a triangular shape. So they are the original side covers, but just fabricated to get a bit more of a FXR touch.